Right, what's going on guys? It's Sander here, Road to Master's Degree, episode 23 already. Time flies, it's already week 23, but today, uh, this week I'm on break, right? So there's no specific content. I barely had enough to fill like a four minute video. So I decided, you know what? There's something I do do every week or every day, regardless of whether it's a break or not, which helps, or I'd say is even the foundation of my success when it comes to uh, academia, right? So what is that? That is a night routine and a morning routine. And obviously there's things in between, but today I'd like to highlight my night routine. I think I've done this before, but my night routine changes from month to month basis. I mean, the most of it stays the same, but I'd say this one is pretty different. So I'd like to go over what is it that I do? Uh, why do I do it? And what's the benefit of doing it? At least uh, from my own experience. Um, also, quickly, I'd like to thank you guys for all the amazing birthday wishes. My birthday was last Monday, so previous week upload. Thank you so much for that. Highly appreciate it. So, what am I gonna do in this video? There's gonna be things you've already seen before. There's gonna be things you've never seen before. And do with that as you please, right? So take things in, maybe add them to your own reservoir of knowledge, maybe apply them here and there, maybe try them out for yourself and let me know how that feels for you or how that uh, works for you or there's going to be things that you do that I don't do which I maybe have not even thought about so make sure you let me know down in the comments what it is that you do you don't have to write an in-depth review of what you do but maybe let me know what you guys do I highly appreciate that so maybe I can learn from you guys as well right so without further ado I'm going to be showing you some clips of what it is that I do and I'm going to be explaining uh, on top of that why I do certain things let's get into it so over the years, I've developed a system that works for me to track if I have done well throughout the day. Uh, and the way I determine that is through habits and daily actions. And that's what you can see here. Uh, if you want to see more about that, I can maybe make an in-depth tutorial on how I use the system. All right, guys. So now that this book is filled in with the habits, I know how well I've done. I've looked at my habits. I've looked at my structures. Is everything uh, going according to plan? Well, it is for today. I checked off five out of five, which is a success, which determines that today's a successful day, or I should say, if today is a successful day, and the answer is yes. Well, then I go on to journaling in my bullet journal, and you might ask, wasn't that just a bullet journal, and why, why would you journal if it's not about your goals and success and habits? Well, I think a lot. Uh, when I talk to somebody, I can remember everything in extreme detail. When I walk somewhere, I remember, I don't know, street signs, uh, random things. I just memorize a lot of things automatically uh, and I think a lot. I'm very analytical so I'm constantly thinking about things. So I tend to sleep um, poorly if I don't let this out. So I can either have a really long talk with somebody which will help me sleep or I just write it out which is something I found out a couple of years ago. So I started doing that. So what I do is I have a normal bullet journal, draw a line right down the middle across two pages and then I take on half a page, write everything that comes to mind. So I might write like, oh, for example, yesterday I wrote, what a day it has been, tomorrow is my birthday, which was written on May the 2nd. Um, so I can literally look back on all the days and I just think of that and then I write it down. It really helps me to relieve all this thinking and go to bed before I start meditating. So let's get this done and move to the next thing. So like I just explained, writing has helped me a ton with gathering my thoughts in one single place. In this case, it's a, a, a bullet journal and it's helped me a ton with basically being able to let go of the day and organize my thoughts. And it's always fun to look back on these journal days, if you will, uh, and see what I was going through, what I was thinking on specific days. And I've been journaling like this for a couple of years now and I literally have barely missed any days maybe there's been a total of like three four weeks uh if i would count up all the days that i've missed but it's crazy to see how much i've changed how much i've learned how much i've grown and it's also helped me to improve my writing because i've been uh, writing for so long now every single day uh, it's definitely uh, something i recommend 
So as you guys know, I do work out a lot and I do calisthenics, so this is a, a supplement for my joints. I take that every single day before I go to bed. And I go on to use a massage gun. Uh, it helps me a ton to get into these specific places like my arms and especially as you can see here, my forearms get extremely tight and I don't want to get uh, some elbow pain so I just make sure I massage that. And I open up my chest, start doing some foam rolling uh, because I get some back pain, certain pain. Make sure I do my stretching every single day before I go to bed. Nothing specific, just some yoga poses here, some wrist stretches that I like to get into before. Uh, I get into my meditation so I'm nice and loose and ready to take on the next day tomorrow morning. I've talked a bunch about meditation on the channel so make sure to check out the videos and podcasts I've done about that but this is a breath focused meditation session. I've been doing these for years. It's helped me a ton to get out of my mind into my body, be more present in the moment and this is something I highly highly recommend before you go to sleep. It helps a ton with stress as well. And one of the last things I tend to do is drink a cup of decaffeinated coffee so no caffeine so I can properly sleep and eat some 90% cacao dark chocolate. Absolutely love this. Take one piece, not more, drink this cup of coffee, do nothing, like literally no music. I don't know why this is even here. I never listen to music. I just relax, do nothing, just sit here in this chair and then I go into reading and go to bed. So the fun thing about this routine is that sometimes I just switch up the order a little bit. I drink a cup of coffee as I'm sitting in bed or I light my candles uh, first thing uh, before I even start my stretching. It's different every single time, of course, but it's the same actions that I put in place. And these are the actions that help me uh, create a solid routine uh, for a healthy night's rest. So you can see me reading here mostly after 15 minutes or so, 15 pages or so, I tend to fall asleep and I just put away the book blow out the candles and then just get ready for a good night's rest and then I wake up the next morning feeling ready for the next day.